Greetings fellow plant lovers and friends. Today we're going to be talking about Passiflora ligularis. And I had a video that I posted about, I think it was around a year, maybe two ago. And I have my parent plant, it's right over here. I have two different varieties, so not to get them confused. I have a seedling from the Fredrickson, Passiflora edulis strain. And then the ligularis, which is over here. And now I know it doesn't look large, because I did a heavy prune on it. But this is it, my friends. It's this plant right over here, and it's starting to take off right now in December. So you can see this beautiful vibrant new growth that's going to be coming on the vine. And earlier this season, I actually collected three fruits from this vine. I cross pollinated them with the vine down there. It's a Fredrickson species. So with all those seedlings that I collected, I decided to pop them up and start germinating them. So over here, I have the trays. I have my flat trays, and I put them into these small containers just like this and I kept them in there for about a month or yeah, around a month. But I'll pull one of these out and show you exactly how they look. These are them, seedlings. Some of them still have the seed pods still on there. Other ones, my germination rate was pretty high for the fresh fruits. Some of them I had later on were um, dried, so they were a little less, but still very high. As you can see, this is how they look. From this point on to about like three weeks, they'll get to a size like this. Let's see. One right over here. And from here, I have this whole table full. And what we're doing today is we're doing a big operation. We have one gallon pots right over here. And I have all my potting mix. So we're putting them in the one gallon size pots. And I'm debating whether or not I want to go into two gallons. I have the larger ones right over here, if you just follow me. Got a few dragon fruit cuttings that are all hard enough ready to go to. But I have these two gallons, and I was debating whether or not I want to put the passion fruit in these or keep them in the one gallon. Got five acres on Recon Mountain. We're going to try to uh, get an organic passion fruit farm up there. So, update 101, Daniel here. Got our our bump ups and it's gonna be awesome looking forward to next video take care guys